hello everyone welcome to gmail tutorials in this video we are going to see that how can you see which third party apps have access to which of your data in gmail so basically to add some additional functionalities and to make our work more easier gmail provides us with the facility of third party apps these third party apps can be used to add some additional functionality as per our choice now for adding these functionalities they require some data from our gmail as well so this data usually consists of our personal information, maybe our name, maybe uh, the emails that are being sent or being received or any such data that uh, they require for the function they have been created. So in order to see which apps are using what data, what steps we need to follow is what we will see in this video. So uh, in the Gmail, you need to create a uh, click on this profile icon that is on the top right corner. Go to manage your Google account. Once you are in your Google account, go to security. In the security, you need to scroll down until you see this text third party apps with account access. So this will list all the apps that have access to your Google account. And here you can see the name of the app as well as what access it has. So you can see you gave these sites and apps access to some of your Google account data, including information that may be sensitive. Remove access for those you no longer trust or use. So it is a good practice to occasionally remove the access or the apps as a whole which you are no longer using so first app i have is better doc to form that has access to the google docs next i have mail track which has access to my gmail next we have timer for google forms which has again access to the google docs so if i just click on manage third party access then you can see these are the apps that have access to particular things so suppose i click on this better doc to form now, in order to remove the access, what I need to do is I will see that what all information it has access to. So it has access to Google Docs, which was uh, shown to me before. But additionally, it has access to basic account information like um, publicly available account information like my email address, my name, my um, profile picture, if I made that public and the primary Google account email address. Next, I have additional access that is display and run third party web content in prompts and sidebars inside Google applications, view and manage your forms in Google Drive. So it has access to Google Docs. But if I investigate further here, I will see that it has access to my Google Forms as well. This was not listed anywhere in the front. So this is what I will be getting information about. Next is the access given on. So when I had given this access and what is the home page of this particular app? So this is the home page. It is also a add on app that I had added to Google form a few days back. So what I need to do is I need to remove this access because I no longer use this app. So what I do is I just click on remove access. It will ask me for a confirmation that better dog to form will no longer have access to your Google account. You will need to grant access if you want to use this app or service again. So I'm fine with it. Let's just click on OK. And now you can see the account access has been removed. If I go back to security, then what happens is on scrolling down, only two third party apps are listed over here. That is mail track and timer for Google forms because for that better to talk add on app, I have removed the access. So it no longer has access to any of my data on the Google account, whether it is Google doc, whether it is Google form. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.